They creep and they crawl. They bite and they sting. Normally being associated with warmer climates, some of the critters lurking on the Canadian prairies may surprise you. Here we look at the top three venomous creatures found in Alberta. This isn't going to be your typical top three. We're actually going to go see if we can find these critters in their natural habitats. And our journey will take us through the stunning beauty of Alberta's native grasslands and rugged river canyons of the Badlands. First up, the prairie rattlesnake. In the far southwestern Canadian prairies, these snakes can be found ranging within a few kilometers of our river valleys. I'll be on the lookout for them near the Red Deer River Valley as I proceed cautiously through open grasslands. Also have to make sure I don't slip down the hill here and land on a cactus. Oh, we got a snake. We got a snake here. Rattlesnake. Now these snakes are usually quite timid and don't want to have anything to do with people and pretty much every individual I've come across in nature has alerted me of its presence beforehand by shaking its rattle. Now the rattle itself is very interesting and grows by adding new buttons each time the snake sheds its skin. They're made of keratin which is the same stuff that makes up our fingernails. Rattlesnakes subdue their prey with venom and are considered an asset to farming communities by controlling populations of small rodents. Next up, the black widow spider. To find her, we had to open native grasslands in southeastern Alberta. We'll typically find black widow spiders near the entrances of badger dens and gopher holes sitting in a tangly web. Now, it actually took me quite a while to find this spider, looking down hundreds of holes for several hours and seeing numerous other spiders sitting on funnel webs. But finally, because the spider is black, I spotted one when I saw a floating red hourglass shape. What a beautiful spider. The red hourglass is found on the underside of the large abdomen of this stunning spider. And the reason she's called a black widow is because she's been known to cannibalize her mate, who's about half her size, right after mating. Our last venomous creepy crawly may come as a surprise to you. We head to the southern Alberta Badlands for a shot at seeing a northern scorpion. Now scorpions are actually a type of arachnid, but they have claws that they use to capture and hold their prey. Of course, they also have a venomous stinger that they use for defense or killing their prey. But perhaps the coolest thing about scorpions is that they glow under UV light. Now in reality, while being bitten or stung by any of these critters would likely be very painful and require medical attention, the venom of these particular species is not lethal to healthy adults. Your likelihood of seeing one of them is low unless you live near their habitat and go looking for them, and even then they're quite shy and tend to avoid interactions with humans. In the meantime, they continue to play a very important role in prairie biodiversity and a healthy ecosystem.